My professional background is in teaching music and performing. Um, I've been teaching music for over 10 years as a public school elementary music teacher. Um, I did teach middle school and high school band as well when I started out teaching. My primary instrument that I play is the trumpet. I've been playing that since I was uh, in the fourth grade, um, but I do sing as well. Um, that's actually my primary instrument. Trumpet is my secondary, um, and I've been singing since kindergarten um, when I went uh, to college to get my bachelor's in music education. My main instrument was actually voice, so I did study voice. Um, in college, but I continued playing trumpet. I do perform. Um, I have been in a few uh, different bands um, where I have been a lead singer. I primarily sing country rock, um, a little bit of blues, and then um, I do play trumpet in another all-female band. Um, so I do have experience performing in both of my uh, main instruments. What got me interested in playing the trumpet, so this is back when I was in the fourth grade, um, and it's, you know, your friends are a big influence on you, and I actually just wanted to be in band so bad, and one of my friends decided to play the trumpet, and I thought, hey, that sounds good, and then um, the more I studied it, I realized that um, I kind of have a feisty personality, and, and playing the trumpet really fit with that um, because you don't see a whole lot of female trumpet players. It's a male dominated um, instrument. And so I thought that was kind of cool. I was, I was sort of a tomboy as a kid. And so it just fit my personality. <laughs> My approach to um, teaching music, um, and I have taught uh, in the classroom, but I have taught private lessons as well. Um, and no matter which setting I'm teaching in, it's all very exploratory. I really do believe in letting children, especially um, at the younger ages, um, anywhere from three to five in that pre-K age, to really explore um, and try different things on the instruments. It's, it's really fun to just give a, you know, a four-year-old, a pair of sticks, or even if you're giving them um, a pot and a pan and a, you know, a spatula or something and see what they do with it because kids are just naturally creative. And I think it's really important to uh, foster that creativity by letting them experience music through their own little world and, and seeing what they come up with. Um, and even into my um, older grades, I do a lot of project-based um, learning where they get to compose their own music or come up with um, their own patterns and um, just see what, what really interests them. Music is one of those subjects where kids are often afraid to make a mistake. They're worried about doing the wrong thing, singing the wrong note, playing the wrong note, especially um, students beginning in band. And um, the most the most uh, important thing that I've always told my students, whether or not it was middle school band or even uh, starting out for kindergarten when we we're preparing for a program is, I'd rather you sing it loud and proud and wrong so I can hear you so we can fix the mistake than not try at all or sing super, super quiet. So my whole philosophy is loud and proud. If you make a mistake, it's okay. We can go back and fix it. But if I can't hear it, I'll never know if if there was a mistake or not. Um, I always too, um, that's part of my philosophy that I spoke on earlier with it being um, exploratory and letting kids um, create their own experience through music. And in my opinion, there really are no mistakes in music and it's just all a matter of perspective. And so I really do encourage kids to just foster their own creativity and what might be a mistake to one person is something beautiful and creative to another. Of course, being a teacher, we're up there in front of the classroom doing all the teaching, but 
uh, it really is the students who bring light to what I do and they have taught me so many things along the way. Um, at the end of the day, kids are kids, they're fascinating, they are creative little souls and it's our job to really foster that and nurture that because as we become adults, a lot of, that, a lot of times that just fades away and um, so they've just taught me to be creative, they've taught me it's okay to make mistakes and um, you just have to laugh about it and move on um, and at the end of the day it's it's all okay. I think it's very important for parent support along the way in a child's um, music education or um, beginning of interest in music. Um, there are going to be times along the way where students get frustrated uh, and they they might want to give up or quit um, but it's it's important for parents to just always be supportive and understand and tell their kids you know maybe it's okay to take a break for a while if a, if a if your child is getting really frustrated music is not meant to be some uh, work it's not meant to be stressful it's supposed to be um, a creative mindset and it's really hard to do that if you're frustrated. So my biggest um, tip for parents is it's okay to take a break, walk away, um, even if, it, if it's 30 minutes or maybe for some children it could be a day or it could be a couple of days, but just, just setting that expectation that it's okay to take a break, but we're, we're gonna come back to this and we're gonna try it again. Um, it should never be a forced uh, situation. So it's always okay um, to take a break. So one of my favorite stories to share about making um, a mistake of my own was um, I've competed in multiple uh, talent shows throughout my life. And one of the, the ones that really rings out to me is this one I did um, at a fairgrounds. I was competing and I, I can't even remember the song I was singing, but I thought it would be a, a good idea to get a little bit closer to the audience. And so I decided to jump off the stage um, during the middle of the song and landed flat on my behind. But I kept going, I kept singing and I got right up and I didn't skip a beat. I just kept going singing. I walked back up on the stage and I ended up winning first place in that talent show because I just kept going. So my advice in life is whenever you make a mistake, just keep going and it'll all be okay. All in all, if I could give any advice to parents when it comes to making mistakes and being creative um, and letting your kids be creative, my advice would be not all kids are gonna have the same skill sets. The skill sets might not be super strong, but if your child is really interested and passionate about something, I just encourage you to foster the creativity in whatever interests them um, and let them know it's okay that they're not the best at it, but it's all about being passionate and loving what you do because as we get older and we as we become adults, we, we, we're so fixated on what we're good at, but it's really hard to, um, to dive into what we really are passionate and really love doing. And, and I'd like to see this generation grow up to be a little bit more creative and fostering what they're really passionate about rather than what they're just naturally uh, gifted in. So foster those interests and let your kids be creative and explore as much as possible.